Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another vloggy vlog. As I'm riding a 2009 Buell XP, no, I forgot, but I forgot the name of the bike already. God damn it, I'm son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a Buell XB12, lightning long. It's my buddy's Buell, and uh, let me tell you right away, compared to my little fucking monster, this is a night and day. This thing is like, it rides very differently. I'm trying to figure it out here. There's some po po pulling somebody over. I'm doing it like a baby. I'm trying to figure out this bike. The vibration, right away, the vibration is just uh, completely another level. And you can just feel the torque. I've been babying it. I see what you mean by the yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, You gotta like, I gotta replace it. It's like $50, but who's got that kind of money, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to like put it into words how I feel about the bike. It's too early to tell. It just feels like it has so much to give, you know? Obviously, I haven't even scratched the surface, but... Anywho, this bike is pretty interesting to begin with because look, in here, this is not a gas tank. This is actually like an air cooler, air filter. And then the gas tank and oil is in the swing arms and in the frame, I believe, in the frame of the bike. So it's definitely a little bit different. It's a goddamn shame that I can't really open it up in this town. Just because uh, there's all this traffic, but hopefully on the BQE right there and on the bridge, maybe I can put it in the second gear. This bike just feels very vertical and I'm, I'm flat footed. However, it's definitely like straining a little bit. My bike is a lot lower. And, uh, but as far as the engine goes, it just has, it just feels like it has lumps of power to deliver. Like even when I rev it, it just wants to fucking go. Let's try it. Blinker is still on. Wow. The power is just relentless. Like it's not, it's non-stop. It's gonna keep coming forever. And it's bizarre that it sounds like a Harley, but the sitting position is obviously like a, you know, I wouldn't even call it a sport bike, but because you kind of like your feet are tucked in, but you're sitting vertical high up. Like it's kind of like a hyper motor almost in a way. The seating position. I really want to pass this person. Let's see what I can do here. Very different from any other bike I've ever ridden. Madness. Use a little bit of brake, because I'm not sure about the suspension here. Yeah, this bike cooks it. I could see going like super fast. Yeah, that's my buddy. I'm my little monster. It's fucking bumpy over here. Oh man, this bike. Listen to it. Yeah. Nice. Slow down a little bit. Man, 
and this bike deserves to be ridden uh, on a wide open nice road not on this congested little bumpy bridge this is a goddamn shame Yeah. Yes, baby. That bike sounds wireless. There we go. Go over here a little bit. I'm starting to get used to it a little bit. At first, I was a little tight on it, a little tense. But I think it's okay now. Whoa, let's calm down. <laughs> nice. There's my bike. Never get to see it like this. Good, what? Yo, no, it fits perfect. <laughs> the only thing is uh, the seating position is very, very different, you know? Like completely. It's a goddamn shame that Buell stopped making bikes and Harley shut the whole thing down because this is what the United States needs is like bikes like these, like manufactured to make bikes like these. Nice affordable little fucking twin sport bikes. You know? It's pretty funny because uh, I'm not 100% comfortable on this bike. So I'm not gonna do any sort of uh, maneuvers. It idles really interesting. My buddy took this to the track too. That must have been a fucking hoot. And I'm just hot, like this bike is definitely a lot hotter than my bike on this hot 95, no 95, 85 degree day. I'm trying to do it by the book here because I see a lot of uh, cops flashing lights over there. I'm not trying to, uh, I'm not trying to do anything silly now and get in trouble. Not me. Not me. It's interesting how it idles like that. I wonder if I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think so. Oh yes, nice. <laughs> That bike sounds good. This whole this whole doing it by the book thing sucks, but it has to be done sometimes. Can be a savage all the time, you know. I think we're gonna make this light though, which is very good. Whether we make this next light, that is a question. Yep, a little maneuver like that. I don't think it's too crazy now. Let's see. Can I put it into neutral? Come on, baby. No. Come on, baby. Get into neutral. Can't do it. All right. No, I should be able to. Come on. No. No neutral today. There's my little bike vibrating away.
here we are. The engine noise is my favorite thing about this bike so far. Easily. Easily. Oh, beautiful Lower East Side. It's so hot that I think the back of my shirt is going to be wet. Should have worn a black shirt, not a green shirt. Because green uh, shows wetness and moisture, unlike black. Wow. On this bike, you can actually feel the front start to lift a little bit. Like, I know I didn't gun it. And I know I didn't do anything super special, but you can definitely start to feel the front get up. That is a feeling I haven't felt before. No, it's really funny how light the front end is on this bike. As soon as you give it a little gas, you can actually feel like yeah. the movement. Yeah. On my bike, you'll never feel that, you know, unless you abuse it. What do you think? Huh? What do you think about the bike? It's smooth. Smooth. It's not smooth as fine. It's yeah. It's different. You're like a little forward. Yeah. The handlebar thing comes like a little bit of paper, you know? Right, right, right. Yeah, this is more vertical. I can see how this is probably much more comfortable on long rides, too, you know? On long ride, yeah. But, um, but it's also more of a workout. Like, everything about this bike, you have to be, like, strong. Yeah, yeah. Highly strong. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, dude. You're not going to let me throw? Don't want to cut him. Here we go. We are at Spiegel. This only took eight million hours. But here we are. Bosch. Oh. Yo, dude, you want you want to park in front of me so that way we both pull out? Nope. Nice. Now that was one hell of a fucking ride. Yeah. Thank you, Broski. Yeah. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking trip. Oh, you just turned that on? What is that for? That's, a, that's just a fan, a coin fan. Here. Yeah, you gotta turn the bars a little bit. Yeah. I am fucking soaking wet.